Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are uh, working on our garage again today. And uh, we're trying to do uh, <laughs> something on the uh, on the cheap side. Instead of buying a laminated beam, we're gonna we're gonna build our own. So uh, let Mr. Uh, Mr. Handyman over here explain how you do this. Now we just got some two by eights, some half inch plywood. We're just gonna make a big sandwich out of it. We're using 14 foot, no 16 foot, two 16 foot two by eights and one eight foot. We're putting it, making it a little bit longer right here. Adding an extra four foot to it because we need it 20 foot long. It's not gonna be holding any weight up really, so it's be just fine. It's probably gonna cost us about a third of what a laminated beam would cost you. And it looks like it's gonna work uh, just as well. So uh, stay tuned and we'll uh, show you how it comes together. And uh, this is actually gonna go right up there. It's gonna go right across the bottom of that. So that's what we're making. And uh, did some more work on the uh, back of the building today. We have our uh, screws in place, our frame board down, all of our concrete in place, and uh, we'll be starting the frame before too much longer. So uh, let's get that uh, let's get that beam made. What are we using there? Uh, liquid nails. Liquid nails. Well, this is stuff we already had for uh, other projects we were doing. And I think by the time this is all said and done, minus the nails and the screws, we'll have about $30 in the, uh, in the laminated beam versus, uh, what'd you say, $5 a foot? On average, about $5 a foot is what I understand. But don't hold me to that. Yeah, that can get a little pricey. So anyway, you just coat that pretty good with the uh, liquid nail. And we're going to put down the uh, ply board on top of that and we're going to screw that together and uh, see how it turns out. Two inch screws and then we're going to go back and you're going to use the nail gun and we're going to... Yeah, we're going to put like uh, three inch nails in all of it. Three inch nails all the way, all the way down. Every, every six inches. Every six three inches. Three of them three on both sides. Both sides. All right. Well, as you can see, we have the plywood down. We have it attached. Right now, it's currently attached with just the screws. But uh, we'll be getting a nail gun out here in just a few minutes, and we'll uh, go to step uh, four or five, whichever one this happens to be. Okay, you see this crack right there where we had to seam these two boards to make it long enough right here? I see it. Right here. Right. What we're gonna do now is we got another 16 footer. We're gonna put this one on top. And we'll put our thing down here. Right. Okay. So the seams will be in different places. Uh-huh. Because you don't want a two seams right there because that'd be real weak. And that's why we did the, the plywood the way we did it. Okay. So All right, so this, so this one here, this one goes on top. Goes on top of that. Yeah. And we'll, well, glue, we'll glue it together. Like the same as we did the other. Same as we did the other, and then when we, when we get done, we'll go back and uh, we'll nail. Yep. Set this on top of that. We All did right. the crown. We got the crown facing the same way. We got the drain and wood turned in like it's supposed to. Do you need help? Oh, do I have to help? Yeah, huh? I need some help. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let me put the camera down. Okay, guys. See, this is the way the sandwich looks. And then, of course, we're going to be trimming this end off to make it to uh, where we need it. But you get the gist of the idea. And we're going to back and we're going to do long. Up. We're going to do longer screws this time. What size are those? I think these are two and a halves. 
Maybe threes. Right now. The thing about it, this thing's gonna be heavy. Right. This is the way it looks on top view. That's heavy too. Yeah, that looks very heavy. But anyway, laminated beams aren't supposed to be light. And uh, this is a cheap way because I, you know, who wants to pay five dollars a foot to make what we just made for uh, 30 bucks and a little bit of extra time save a whole lot of money so what is that five times 20 hundred bucks yeah anyway it's a good way if you want to make some money i mean some save some money i'm sorry uh make your own uh laminated bean Hopefully we'll get this thing up here in a few minutes. All right, we got the air compressor out. Getting it ready. We got the nail gun. We got the nails. And we're getting ready to start uh, start nailing. So uh, I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay guys, I, as you can see, we got the nails all the way down on this one and uh, you can stick a fork in this because it is done. 